To most people who have been watching the situation develop for the past few months, it seems obvious Josh Duggar will soon be going to prison for a very long time. Josh was arrested on CP charges back in April, and the legal wrangling that's been taking place ahead of his trial has given us pretty good idea of how each side will make their arguments in front of the judge. Basically, the prosecutors has a ton of evidence that points to Josh's guilt, while the defense is hoping that if they muddy the waters enough, they might be able to create a shadow of a doubt with regard to Josh's guilt. Unfortunately for Duggar and his top-shelf team, the task looks more daunting every day. Earlier, we reported that Josh's former co-worker has cooperated with investigators and will likely testify when this case goes to trial on November 30th. Of course, that's if Josh's lawyers don't succeed on having the trial date pushed back again, something they have already done once and are attempting to do again. That's very bad news for Josh, and his lawyers' attempts at blindsiding prosecutors have repeatedly fallen flat. Last week, for example, they tried to have an important piece of evidence thrown out. It seems that investigators took photos of Josh's hands shortly after he was arrested in April. Those photos could be significant when the case goes to trial, as apparently a scar of one of Josh's hands matches certain incriminating photos found on his computer. Now the defense has filed to have those photos ruled inadmissible as evidence, claiming the agents from the Department of Homeland Security violated their clients' rights. What is particularly egregious about Homeland Security's conduct in this capacity is that Duggar's body parts were manipulated and he was required to pose for the photographs, their motion states. By any measure, this constitutes a search and an intrusion on his personal rights, all without his counsel present, in violation of his Fourth, Fifth and Sixth Amendment rights. The prosecution contends that the display of a defendant's physical characteristics, such as a photograph, do not fall under the Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination. They say the rule against taking photos of suspects for use as evidence only applies to critical stages of criminal proceedings, not a routine arrest and mugshot session. The DA also points out that Duggar voluntarily consented to having the photos taken. Currently, it sounds as though the photos will be allowed into evidence, but as details are currently under seal, it's unclear what sort of impact they might have on the trial. Whatever the case, it appears as though the walls are closing in on Josh. While several family members, including his wife Anna, remain convinced of his innocence, to the rest of the world it seems obvious that Josh is headed to prison. Bizarrely, Anna believes that Josh was framed by the Biden administration and would have never been arrested had Trump been re-elected. We're gonna go out on a limb and guess that his lawyers won't be using that argument in court. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.